Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. So today I filmed for you three super easy and affordable DIY home projects or home upgrades. I'm always getting requests for um, home projects to make your house your dream home and I also get a lot of requests for different upgrades that will help you sell your home. This is going to be for both groups of people and I did want to let you know this video was sponsored by Caseta by Lutron. So so let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video. So the first place we're gonna start is in my bathroom and my beauty room. Whether you're just trying to upgrade your home or you're trying to get it ready to put on the market, paint is like the number one thing you can do. So my cabinets were out of control. This used to be Savannah's bathroom and I think she just let a lot of water run down those so they had water damage. Plus I had colored my hair in there and I didn't realize it had dripped and by the time I caught it, it had already stained it. So I'm just gonna be using a sander and a paint to solve this problem. I had mentioned over kind of on Instagram and other videos, I was gonna paint these pink, but I could just never make myself do it. I love the idea of it, but I'm not big on color and I think it's just so much work and if I didn't like it, I'd have to redo it all. So I didn't wanna do them white either because my cabinets are white, my floors are white, everything's white in there. So I was gonna paint them gray. And so I thought that is just is so much work. I'm gonna use the paint I already have and just touch these up. Plus, I wanted you guys to see how easy this is. You can use a hand sander or you can just get sandpaper and just sand any of that extra paint off. It's really chippy. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. Um, it's always gonna look worse before it gets better because it took off even more paint than was already there, but it was because it was chippy. Um, now I'm just gonna open up my paint can and make sure you stir this really well. So this paint was about four years old, but I went and talked to the paint um, department at Lowe's and they said most paints have like a five year shelf life. So as long as it didn't have a really bad smell when you opened it, it was safe to use. So all I needed to do was mix it up. So this project ended up being for free and it made my bathroom look so much nicer. It looks newer, it's clean and crisp again. So that's what I'm gonna start working on right now. Whether you're staying in your home or selling it, paint can work miracles. It really does. Just touching up, you know, old cabinets. Maybe your hallways are super dirty from kits. Give them a fresh coat of paint. Baseboards are huge. Definitely if you're gonna be selling your house or you just wanna love your house more, Freshen up those baseboards. If you don't have a budget, my biggest thing is to clean, declutter, and organize. That alone is free and it will change the way you look at your house. It'll change how quickly your house will sell. So just doing these like super low cost or no cost um, upgrades, it'll definitely make you either fall in love with your home or it will cause somebody else to fall in love with your home and buy it from you. been putting this project off for a while but it literally took me less than 30 minutes and it was zero dollars I wish I would have done it sooner every time you go to tackle a project I think it seems so daunting but sometimes it is so simple to do Thank you. 
Once again, thanks to Caseta by Lutron for sponsoring this video. They are a premium smart lighting control that gives families peace of mind by effortlessly turning darkness into welcoming light. Um, basically, this system turns your normal bulbs into smart bulbs and they sent me some amazing products that I'm completely obsessed with. So I'm going to show you a few different ways you can use them, but real quickly, I'm going to show you a few of the products they sent. Okay, we're gonna be putting this dimmer kit into our dining room. I love having chandeliers on dimmers just because they can be so bright, especially out in the living spaces. I like to put my house to sleep at night, so I start dimming them just because it helps with us fall asleep easier, especially if you have children. If we left like our daylight bulbs on all night, we would be wide awake and it would be so hard to fall asleep. Um, so that's what we're gonna be showing you first. What's really cool is it comes with an extra remote and you can even get a wall unit where it looks like a wall plate and you can stick it anywhere you want. So right now to turn on our dining room light, we have to be in the dining room, but we could hook this up and it'll look just like a light switch outside our bedroom. Then when we walk out at night, we can actually turn it on and we don't have to trip over like the boys or anything that's in our living room. So I think that's super cool. So as you can see, Chase is installing this. It literally took less than 10 minutes and it's such a cool upgrade. We are loving using it. If we had to sell our house, I'm sure the new buyers would love it. It's just these fancy little things that are very budget friendly, very easy to install that's gonna set your house apart from somebody else's. Or if it's just for you, it is just so cool to have. I'm gonna show you how we've been using it here in a few, but I'm gonna let Chase finish installing it first. Now I'm gonna show you how it works. It is super easy and super fancy. What I love about this is it's very cost effective. If I had to buy smart bulbs, it would be so pricey because my chandeliers hold so many, but instead you're putting that brain or technology in the switch. So you're saving so much money because you're buying it for one piece instead of all your light bulbs. The reason I love it is we leave and sometimes at night or if we're gone during the day, I don't realize we're gonna be gone past dark and my boys are left home in the pitch black and I seriously hate it. I try not to do it. But now this is hooked up on the app on my phone and I can literally be at my mom's house or in town running errands and I can turn the lights on for my boys so I don't have to worry about them. I can also use it with Alexa, Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit. I use it with Surrey too. To learn more, you can go to lutron.com slash vacuum. I'm gonna have that link down below in my description box, but now we're gonna head on to my laundry room. So here are some before clips of my laundry room. It's fine. I feel like we can do a little bit better. For some reason, this room's always been so boring to me. Along with my master bathroom, one day I need to tackle that room as well, but I was gonna work on this one today. This back wall just seems so blah to me, and I feel like I've been seeing a lot of these like pill and stick tiles, and they seem so easy, so I thought that's what we're gonna do in this room today. Plus, this is really nice if you need to paint a wall, but you don't have the paint anymore or you're not in the mood to paint um, really having dirty scuffed up walls or lots of holes you're gonna see right here on this wall from where I've hung so many different types of pictures it's just terrible it needs a lot of work I was not in the mood to paint this space I just felt like I wanted to level up just a little bit more so online I went ahead and ordered these pill and stick subway tiles they have all different designs though so definitely just check them out and see which one fits your design better but but to me, this was the most cost effective and affordable. So I picked them up and we're gonna start putting them here on this back wall. So now having done this, I wanna give you a few tips. 
If you're a perfectionist, you may want to go with more of the mosaic look. I feel like you could get away more. I felt like this um, design showed every flaw. So if you didn't line it up perfectly, which sometimes can be really hard getting um, it lined up on the top and the bottom, you will kind of see them, you know, see the mistakes. Now, once it's all done, you don't notice them as much. But if you're like a perfectionist, either take your time with this. Do not be in a hurry. Do not be rushed or just go with a little bit busier design so you're not mixing or meshing up the grout. But I'm still so happy with how it turned out. It is super easy. I mean, all you do is peel it off. It's sticky on the back. You stick it on. When you do need to make cuts, you just cut with scissors. I'm going to show you that here in a second. Um, I have it zero patient, so you're going to see Chase come in to assist me on that. He's good with like measuring things out. I would just start whacking it with the scissor and it probably wouldn't look as professional. So just put as many up as you can and then save all the ones that need to be cut at the end and I feel like that kind of gets your momentum going and gets you going but you can see right here it's super easy you just put it on and then press it down if you ever need to leave you just peel it off but I just think it's a really cool concept it's a really neat way to do like an accent wall especially if it's just you and you don't have a lot of help and you're just wanting something simple so here's Chase measuring and you can see how we make the cuts I just think this is a really cool way to add a tile if you don't have the means to go and like backsplash things. Um, in my last home, we didn't have backsplash in our kitchen and I would have killed to have had this back then. Like the, our wall got just so dirty from like cooking and washing dishes. It got water stains. Um, this would be really cool in a bathroom, kitchen, laundry room. There's all different tiles. So definitely choose one that works best for you. But this is just super affordable and easy to do. It probably took us like an hour, hour and a half start to finish. We did have to take a few breaks just to eat lunch, but here is how it looks. I feel like the room is even so much brighter. It just kind of leveled it up a little bit, but let's go ahead and decorate it back so you can see the final project. I want to talk about one more Caseta by Lutron product because I feel like this one is super easy. Like the other one was easy. This one's even easier. So this is just a plug-in and this is really good for lamps. It even comes with an extra remote so you could have it in your car or out in the garage. And then when you come home, you could turn the lights on inside your house before you even walk in. Just the safety factor of that is amazing. This one you don't have to install. All you do is plug it into an outlet and then it's got hookups on both sides. So you could plug two lamps into this, which I think is incredible. And then you can turn it on and off from that switch or it comes with the remote that you can hang up somewhere like a light switch or you can keep that in your nightstand or in your car, wherever you're gonna be, so you can turn lights off from anywhere. This is also that smart technology, so I can hook up, up to my phone. So when I'm gone again, and um, I realize it's dark, I can turn on the light in my laundry room. That's where I keep the boys' like, food and water. And if there's no light in there, they can't eat and drink. So I just think it's a really cool technology. It is super, super easy to install and it's really affordable. So once again, check out that link down below in my description box. I also wanted to mention, say you needed to hang a photo, you could totally put a nail through this and hang up a photo. It would not be hard at all. I know some of us um, hang up signs in our laundry room. I'm thinking about doing like a wash and dry above my washer and dryer. So that will be easy to do and it won't mess anything up. Okay guys, so we just finished up those three home updates or upgrades. 
projects, whatever you want to call them. But if you're new here or this is your first time visiting, I wanted to share some clips with you of all the other projects we've done throughout this house. It's definitely good if you want to stay in your home. It's definitely good if you're trying to make your current home your dream home. These are also great ideas if you're trying to sell. I know the market's hot right now and just doing a few of these will really make your house stand out. So let me show you some of the other projects we've done in our home. I feel like updating your lighting fixtures just does so much. I think it adds so much value to your home. I feel like it makes you stand out. It's something different and unique. I feel like most people have just their normal lighting, but just by upgrading it or spray painting it or getting some used, whatever's within your budget, you can really level up your home by kind of personalizing your spaces. This is my fandelier and I love it. It looks like a chandelier. Um, so it's beautiful, but when I get hot, it actually turns into a fan. Just pieces like this are so unique and people don't see them every day. So whether it's a buyer coming into your home or just a guest, I feel like it's a really cool way to create a space. Um, I also added one over here in Chase's office. I don't know, it just completely changes the look and feel of each room. Accent walls are also just another great home project or home upgrade. I feel like it adds a lot of value into your home. Once again, it just personalizes your space. This was a super easy one to do. It looks great with the futon there. It would also be a really cool headboard if we needed to turn this back into a guest bedroom. So just using walls like this, if a buyer were to come in, it would look incredible. It would look custom. If it's just a guest coming in, they're wowed by it. So either way, when you're doing home upgrades, it definitely just adds value to your home, whether you're staying or leaving. We also did this accent wall in our dining room and oh my gosh, I feel like it just added so much to that space. It just adds more value and it looks more expensive than what it ever is and how long it took. Like a super easy project, but looks amazing. Um, painting your cabinets is another one. People love white cabinets. Um, so if you're going to sell, it's definitely, you can do it by yourself. I have a video painting these and doing this whole bathroom. Um, even like updating your hardware is another super easy and affordable upgrade. You can either just take off your old hardware and put fresh on, or you can take it off and spray paint it and add it back on. You would be amazed what paint and spray paint can do. We even had our Island painted. Our house looks completely different just by painting this one piece of furniture in our home. So it's amazing just the little changes you can do that really add up over time. Um, our house when we moved in was gorgeous, but it is just completely different now and we have not put that much money into it. We may have put a lot of time and a lot of elbow grease, but not a lot of money and it's just amazing all the spaces we've created. Now for the outside of your home and creating curb appeal. Now we did have our whole house painted. We had the brick sprayed, but we painted the rest. That's a great way just to kind of update a home. We also DIY'd those planter boxes. Those plants in them are actually fake. You would never know from the road. We've added this trash can little nook over here. We changed out the lights. That's another super easy, affordable way to kind of update your home. And another really cool thing you can do is add um, garage hardware. You can even do this if you're a renter. This kind is magnetic, which I think is super cool. So you can even take it off and take it with you. But you can see right here, it's a really strong magnetic, so it's not gonna fall off. Somebody's asked before if you have to remove it every time you open it, no, it just stays on. But here's a look of when I take it off. It's just super plain and simple and empty. I mean, it's fine, but now I wanna show you what it looks like once we add this hardware and it is super, super affordable. Look at just the difference it makes and it takes two seconds to put that on. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed seeing all those clips. I love sharing them with you. I feel like I get 
so many requests for affordable, cheap, and easy DIYs, how to improve your home on a budget, tips for selling your house, making all of these tweaks or even just a few of them can definitely make you stand out. So I thought this would just be a great video that we could have all of our home projects in one video. Now, if any of these projects look appealing to you, I have videos posted on all of them. So you'll just have to go back and check them out. We've done back porch makeovers. We've done a small dining room makeover, a guest bathroom makeover. We've done the whole entire outside. And I would really love for you to go back and watch those if you haven't already. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thanks to Caseta by Lutron for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.